What's up, everybody? Hope everyone's having a good night, and welcome back to Rocco's Kitchen. Cheers. So tonight, we're going to be making ricotta gnocchi. Super simple dish, and we're going to make an easy sauce. It's going to go with it. So, let's start cooking. But first, don't forget, hit that like and subscribe, and let's begin. So for our gnocchi dough... We're going to go in with 15 ounces of ricotta cheese and one egg and one egg yolk. Now that 15 ounces is the normal size those little ricotta containers come in and that is whole milk. You want to use whole milk for this. So I'm going to combine this ricotta and the eggs. Going to break up that ricotta, mix in those eggs. Oh yeah, they got a sloppy mess. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's good right there. And now, we're going to grate in about a half cup of Pecorino Romano. And guys, I took that ricotta and I put it in cheesecloth and I let it sit overnight in there draining to get some of that moisture out. But to be honest with you, I didn't lose that much moisture. So it might take a little more flour than usual to get it to come together, which you'll see in a sec. And that's where the feel aspect comes into it. We'll get there. Trust me. Not a big deal. It'll be just fine. Let's mix our cheese in. And now I got my flour. So I'm just going to start adding flour a little bit at a time until this comes together. into a dough. I'm going to say this could take anywhere between a cup to two cups of flour, depending on how wet your ricotta is. And because I didn't lose that much moisture through my strain, I'm guessing it's going to be at least a cup and a half. Now you do want to just wait till it comes together to make a dough. You don't want to add too much flour. You're going to have heavy gnocchi. My grandpa calls them sinkers. During the cooking process, you know when they're done, when they come up to the top and float. Now if they're too heavy, you're just not going to do that. Or they're going to get gummy. It's starting to come together. Not quite there. So that's about a cup right there. Now we're starting to get a dough. Something that might be manageable. Still a little wet. We'll keep going. there. Go a little bit more flour. And then we're going to start working it with our hands so we can feel it. 
Let's see how that's really coming together. Okay. It's actually looking pretty good. But it's a little wet. So we'll see. Let's take it out of the bowl. Start working with our hands. Now, I'm going to put a little flour down on the table. Scoop our dough out. And just start working a little flour in from there. And you see that? How oh, it's becoming a nice cohesive dough? Means we really don't need much more. It was about a cup and a half of flour altogether. just there it's coming together really nicely what I'm gonna do just make that into a ball let it sit for just a minute bring it all together sit for just a minute we'll cover it let everything marry in there for about five minutes and we'll be right back our dough is rested so all I'm gonna do get that bowl off and cut off about a third of it I'll do it in thirds take the rest set it aside cover it back up so it doesn't dry out now I'm gonna take a little flour on my table so it doesn't stick up see it's already sticking on the table put some flour down start rolling it out into a log I think would be a better term. Whoops. Almost broke my bourbon there. Be a travesty. Okay. So roll that out into a rope, and that's going to be probably about three quarter inches thick. I don't have a ruler on me, but it looks like that. So then I'm going to take my bench scraper, dust it with a little flour. I'm going to cut three quarter inch pieces off of this rope. pan here and put some flour down so it doesn't stick flour is your friend I'm making pasta any kind of pasta so it doesn't stick I got this fancy gnocchi board here super fancy you get an Amazon for like a dollar or you could use a fork and this is what I do with my grandma so this part, you don't really have to do it, but I think the ridges help catch sauce. So I'm going to roll it down the there, and it puts these little ridges onto the gnocchi. Also, that little thumbprint catches the sauce too. Now, you don't got one of these. This is what I was doing when I was like five years old with my grandma. She'd make the gnocchi, and I would put the ridges in with a fork. You just roll them off the fork. It does the same thing. So I'm going to finish making these. 
And we're going to head over to the stove, cook these gnocchi off, and make our sauce. Got all our gnocchi rolled out. And our water, heavily salted, is going to come to a boil. In the meantime, we're going to start making our sauce. So I've got my pan here on about medium high heat. I'm going to start rendering down about a quarter pound of pancetta. All I'm going to do is render that down until it gets nice and crispy. Our pancetta has crisped up. So now I'm going to go in with about eight sage leaves. Just julienne. Give that a little stir. And now, I'm going to go in with about two cups of heavy cream. And I'm just going to bring that to a simmer and let it simmer until that cream reduces by half. Or you could call it a double cream. Also, I'm going to take my salt and pepper and just season that with some salt and a little freshly ground pepper. Okay. Reduce that and we'll get to cooking our gnocchi. Our cream has thickened or reduced by half. And now our water is boiling. So it's time to cook our gnocchi. All I'm going to do is drop them in, give them a little stir, and when gnocchi are done, you got a great towel. They float to the top. So that's all you got to look for. Once they start floating, they're good to go. Okay. So. Give them a little stir. And I'll see you when they reach the top. Oh, you guys see that? They're starting to pop up to the top. So just scoop those out. Throw them in the sauce. It's not going to take long. We're all going to do that. We're just going to do that while they pop up. So now I just got our gnocchi and our sauce. Let those marry together. And we're ready to plate this up and eat. So hope you guys enjoyed. I know I'm about to. And I will see you next time on Rocco's Kitchen.